Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will use timers. So let's look at the example first. Pump cycling. Turn on a pump for 10 seconds, then off for 20 seconds and repeat this cycle. So we will use a normally open contact for start switch. We will also use memory bit. We will use some timers like TP and T on. So let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab. Here is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configurations. I will click on yes. So the device I have selected as 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port, and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. Then I can also go to serial line where I will select protocol as TMS 2GDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for pump cycling. I can also click on this option to set a full screen mode and then I can also zoom into it by clicking on plus button. I can also zoom into it by clicking the minus button. So firstly I will insert normally open contact here and I will assign address to it as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as start button. Yes. Then I will insert a coil here and I will assign address to this coil as Q 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as pump. Yes. Then I will insert a timer here and select type as TP. I will change time base to second and then 10 and then click on apply. So, when start button is turned on, pump will be on for 10 seconds, then off for 20 seconds and repeat this cycle. So, it should turn off by its own after 20 seconds and then after 20 seconds, it should turn on for 10 seconds and then after 10 seconds, it should get turn off for 20 seconds and it should repeat this cycle. So, so I will insert one more coil here. I will assign address to this coil as M0 and then I will connect it like this. Then I will insert one more timer to turn off the pump and 
the type of the timer should be T on and then I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 20 and then click on apply. So this timer will turn off pump for 20 seconds and then to repeat the cycle I will use two normally closed contacts one here and another here. I will assign address to this normally closed contact as Q 0, 0.0 that is pump and then I will assign address to this normally closed contact same as memory bit that is M 0. So here our ladder diagram is completed that is when start button is turned on pump will be turned on for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds pump will get turned off and for it will be for 20 seconds and after 20 seconds the pump will get started by its own for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds the pump will get turned off for 20 seconds and this cycle will repeat itself. So I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program. and go to commissioning and launch simulator. And then I will start controller to do so click OK. Then I will go to programming and click on full screen mode. So when I turn on start button that is I 0.0. .0. Pump gets on for 10 seconds. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And after 10 seconds, pump gets turned off. And it will be off for 20 seconds. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And after 20 seconds, pump will get turned on. And it will be for 10 seconds again. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And after 10 seconds, it will get turned off. And it will be turned off for 20 seconds. And this cycle repeats. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.